Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to introduce you an interesting and advanced technique. Side spin block. We could say Mastara used this technique a lot in the game and it is very effective. This side spin block generates a lot of side spin and under spin if needed. It hits the ball to the wider angle on your opponent's forehand big corner. It surprises them and gives them very short time to react your weird side spin. It is not an easy technique, but we could always build the concept first. So if you find this video is a little bit hard, don't worry, please keep watching and get the sense of this technique. And later on, when you improve your skills, you could always and easily apply this skill. All right, let's take a closer look at this technique. First, swing back your arm. Second, right after the ball bounces on the table, we change the racket angle to the open to the left side. I will go into the details about this racket angle shortly. So we wanted to change the racket angle at the last minute so that you could effectively disguise your true purpose and give your opponents shorter time to react. Third, swing your arm to your right side. It's kind of like giving your opponents a fake movement that you are going to hit the ball to their left side, but actually you are hitting to their forehand side. The racket angle is a key point in this technique. It's totally different from the previous backhand drive or top spin I taught you before. So for this side spin block, we wanted to keep your racket angle open to your left side, like this. The more you open to the left side, the wider the ball will go on their right side. But try not to keep too wide because the ball would be easily off the table. There are two different raised movements for this technique. One generates the underside spin, the other generates top side spin. So for top side spin, you want to use a raise go more sideways side and more forward, forward like this. And for under side spin, you want your wrist moving downwards more, downwards, side and downwards, so that you could generate heavy on the spin, like this. The timing is the tricky part. The purpose of this side spin block is to surprise your opponent when you change the line and the spin of the ball. So it's better for us to hit it right after the bounce. Contact the ball at its right side and the middle part. This technique doesn't really require a lot of strength from your body. So try to keep your body balanced and ready for the next shot, that is fine.
sweet. That's all for today's lesson. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. Please practice it with your partners or friends. And uh, it is totally fine if you find it a little bit hard for you now. But keep trying, keep trying, and you may come up with some different and new techniques. Alright, please leave your comments let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to get more table tennis tutorials. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.